hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're basically just gonna spend a night in with me so i hope y'all enjoy and let's get into the video so i'm just getting home after doing some shopping and i wanted to pamper myself and just have a nice friday night in tonight and to romanticize the night i want to do some makeup and get kind of cute before cooking and everything and i have to show you guys the new beauty products i got my boxy charm came in just in time and it's my new favorite way to discover new beauty products because you can get five new products a month at the price of one and this video is sponsored by boxy charm so thank you so much you guys for hooking me up with these great products so if you aren't familiar boxy charm is a monthly membership that curates the best beauty products and delivers them straight to you with free shipping and as a charmer member i was able to choose three products for my box and i took a quiz that helped customize my box to my specific beauty needs so i'm just opening my second box here and as someone with a shopping addiction it is really exciting getting full bottles of brand name beauty products every month and it allows me to try new products at a more affordable price plus boxycharm curates a box just for me so i get things that i actually want and will use in the future so boxycharm is the only subscription box with full-size products and they even offer an extra free full-size gift when you join so you guys better run check my description box to get your boxy charm and i was so excited to try all these new products especially the blush like did y'all see how gorgeous the blush was so now i'm just gonna do my makeup and just kind of like get cute for tonight i like to be cute in my house sometimes while i'm doing things because sometimes i like to take pictures and of course i'm filming and everything so um, I was going for like a natural romantic girly look. I don't know if I really achieved that. Um, and I definitely think I went a little dramatic, but I loved every product that I tried. The eyeshadows were amazing and the blush is actually my new favorite. And this lipstick too, it's like a perfect like pinkish nude. So BoxyCharm is definitely a great way to spoil yourself. I had so much fun trying out these products. So now I'm just doing my hair and kind of like taming it making sure it looks presentable but yeah i feel like i haven't done eyeshadow in a while so i definitely had fun doing this and this is the final makeup look i had so much fun trying out all these new products and if you guys are interested in boxycharm just check my description so that you can get your hands on your box today now that my makeup and hair are done i'm just gonna put on a robe and a cute like pajama dress and i'm lighting some candles i literally always talk about my mom in these videos but she got me both of these candles and they both smell really good i always have candles burning in my apartment and it might not be good for me but it smells so good and just sets the mood for a relaxing night in so now we're headed to the kitchen i am going to be cooking tonight i don't really cook often but when i do i usually make some type of pasta so i found this recipe on tiktok and it looks so good so i was really excited to try it so here i am just getting all of my ingredients out of the fridge i also like to write down ingredients and measurements when i make a recipe because i if not i'll mess up because i'm not really good at cooking like that um but i'm also also gonna be making chocolate chip cookies I also got this recipe off of TikTok, and I'm gonna finally be using my new stand mixer that I got for Christmas so before I started making anything I wanted to have all my ingredients measured and portioned out so that I had everything organized um, so that the cooking process would be easier for me and go quicker it's also really aesthetic to see all of your ingredients like organized and laid out and I wanted this night to be as stress-free as possible so when I was ready to start cooking I could literally just like mix all the ingredients really quick and not spend all night cooking which I actually ended up doing because filming yourself cooking is honestly one of the hardest things to do so it did take me a while but usually if you pre-portion out your ingredients you'll get through cooking faster but yeah on tiktok this recipe was called um i think creamy tuscan chicken and i will link it down in the description for you guys or you could just go on tiktok all i did was search 
um i think i just searched pasta recipes or like easy pasta recipes and it was one of the first ones to come up and i did the same thing for the cookie recipe i searched chocolate chip cookie recipe and it was one of the first ones i feel like tiktok is honestly a better search engine than google you can literally search anything on there and there'll be somebody who is doing a video on exactly that so <laughs> i love using tiktok for recipes and just like simple everyday life information like i'll just go to tiktok and search it up so these cookies came out really good as far as the flavor i did over mix my dough a little bit so when i started mixing the dry and wet ingredients together um the dough was kind of crumbly so i added some water to try to make it more dough like and it just ended up making the texture really weird and they kind of looked strange when they were done cooking but the texture of the cookies when they were finished and the flavor was really good so i will link the recipe and then this pasta was just a 10 out of 10 i didn't think it would turn out as good as it did but you guys should definitely try out this recipe if you like pasta i feel like i'm always cooking pasta on this channel but it's like the easiest thing for me to cook and also the most creative i can get so but i really don't cook often so doing things like this just makes my nights in feel more productive and just more enjoyable because i'm always at home i really don't go a lot of places throughout the week so usually i'm doing nothing so if i like plan something out and get a recipe to make and go buy groceries and pamper myself i feel really good about staying in because sometimes you do get fomo when you're in your house a lot and you work from home and you do everything inside and you have social anxiety and you just don't want to go outside <laughs> you do tend to feel like you're missing out on a lot of stuff so if you take the time to like plan stuff with yourself and have like date nights date yourself and things like that it makes you feel better about life but yeah these cookies look really strange but trust me they tasted really good okay so after cooking and baking i did accumulate so many dishes so i'm just washing my dishes so that i don't have to worry about it the next morning and i'm gonna just clean the sink and start the dishwasher doing the dishes is probably my least favorite household chore but i love cleaning the sink it's just so satisfying to have a fresh shiny sink when you're done cleaning and i'm just gonna start the dishwasher before heading to the bathroom to run a bath all right so now it's time to wind down so i'm running my bath i'm adding in some epsom salt bubble bath and bath bombs so i did run out of the bubble bath so i ended up adding a little bit of body wash just to create more suds and that's how my bath is looking and i'm gonna set up my bath tray i love using this when i'm taking a bath and i'm gonna light a candle as well so after lighting the candle i just place everything that i'm going to be using while i'm in the tub on the tray and i'm lighting another candle i usually like to take baths in the dark because i always have more than one candle going and it's just more of like an ambiance but if i was to turn the lights off this camera would catch nothing so yeah um i just read a couple pages of the current book i'm reading and then after the bath i did take a shower and i washed my face and now i'm just doing some relaxing skincare just standing over my steamer this feels so good and i just put on some hyaluronic acid and moisturizer and then now i'm moving on to watching a movie and while i do that i did take my nails off because one of them broke so i decided to just put on some press ons and i love these because they look like you just got gel polish on your natural nails and i love the way that black nails look when they're short like this so I did put a top coat on to make it more shiny and I cured it and then I'm putting some cuticle oil to make sure my hands aren't all dry and crusty and I think that is the end of this video. I love you guys so much. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.